Hello everybody, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is just a fun, frivolous, self-indulgent kind of video. I treated myself to a little mini book haul and uh, I'm going to tell you the context for this. So a little while ago, a uh, lovely subscriber came into my supportive tarot Facebook group and told me about the most stunning edition of The Last Unicorn uh, being published through a uh, small letterpress, like fancy book collector style book publisher, small run, limited number, insanely expensive. <laughs> and not only did I miss out, but like, even if I could have bought it, it was so, it was, you guys, it was wildly expensive. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful edition. I'll try to remember to put a picture up because the, the edition that I fell in love with was the numbered edition. Um, and it was, it was something else. The whole cover was like inspired by the unicorn tapestries. And when I tell you, I went like gaga over this. Insane. But it was already sold out. And again, insanely expensive. Insanely expensive. So I consoled myself by placing a completely frivolous, as I said, self-indulgent small haul of just unicorn books to just make my heart happy. Like I already have a beautiful edition of The Last Unicorn. It's a graphic novel version. It's signed by the author. Uh, Peter S. Beagle. I have a print signed by Peter S. Like, I've got plenty of Last Unicorn stuff, all right? My, my tarot deck is, like, signed by him. Like, it's fine. It's fine. But this edition of The Last Unicorn was stunning, and I just decided to console myself. So here's what I've got. I'm going to just, we're going to explore it together. And if you have any of these books, or if you have children who have any of these books, and they have any feedback, let me know. Um, but I thought I would just share them with you all. So here's the first one. This is called Unicorn Lovers Only. This is written by Penelope Gwynn and illustrated by Katie O'Neill. I freaking loved the cover of this, for starters. Um, this made my heart happy because of my deck. <laughs> because in my tarot deck, like, first of all, I'm very particular about unicorns, and this one meets the criteria. Um, they need to have cloven hooves. They need to have the lion-style tail. Um, ideally, a little tough lit at their chin. Not all of them have to have that, but enough of them. And just this is how I picture unicorns. And what's great about this is that if you look in the background of this image, there's some black ones that also have that. And there's some like pal Palomino style ones that have that and a winged one over here. I stumbled over my words, a winged one over there. Same style, made me really, really happy. Um, so here's what this has to say on the back. Unicorns have changed a lot through the ages, but some things have stayed the same. They're still magical and mysterious, elusive and entertaining, and they're still the most fascinating mythical creatures in the world. For Unicorn Lovers Only is a beautifully illustrated treasure trove of lore and real history that guides fans of all ages through the evolution of the unicorn legend, when and where the stories come from, how unicorns have influenced pop culture, and much more. Um, so this is definitely geared towards, look at the end papers, <laughs> geared towards the younger crowd. I don't care. Um... Don't care at all. Uh, the paper feels really nice. It's got that kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, that soft quality um, where you know that it would like a marker would bleed through, but it feels really nice. Anyway, so here's what we have. We have history of unicorns, popcorn. So this is unicorns and pop culture. Unicorns then and now. Um, Legends of the unicorn. This is actually great because it's got the bestiary, Genghis Khan, Rhiannon, the dwarf. Then we have unicousins. So we have pegasus, hippocampi, winged unicorns, dragons, mermaids, and fairies. So just some other associated mythical creatures. Then unicorns today. Anatomy, habitat, tracking, catching one. Um, we'll have to see what that's about. Karen feeding, unicorn games. And then unicorning your life. Uh, so I don't think this is obviously meant to be taken entirely seriously, but um, I did take a little peek and there are some things here that do sort of stand to, to some reason about um, different types of history and where how unicorns showed up in various cultures. That's covered pretty well here from just my initial flip through. So that's exciting. Here we have a unicorn timeline. This is great because you have different styles of unicorns that have shown up. There's way more than this um, over the years. Oh, see, and look at the illustrations. They're just great. So we are in the world. We're unicorns all over. This is one of the reasons why I, I literally believe that at some point there was something that ties these these legends together. It just doesn't make sense to me that you wouldn't have um, that you wouldn't you wouldn't have all of these if there wasn't some reason for it. But anyway, um, so different Karkadon, which is the India one, the Chinese, um, and it just talks about alicorns. Hmm how to tell if your alicorn is real. This is when it's talking about, um, alicorn was the name for unicorn horn, for a chunk of unicorn horn. Um, it was sold as a folk remedy, actually, in medieval times. It was probably narwhal tusk or some other material like ivory, but it was sold as unicorn horn. Anyways, um, unicorns in pop culture. So we have different books. Uh, Phoebe and her unicorn, <laughs> a collection of comics. I do have a bunch of these. Um, amazing, love it. Into the Land of the Unicorns. Of course, the last unicorn is mentioned. If it wasn't, I would have, like, had a problem. Uh, 
<laughs> then we have other stories. So I might actually look into some of these just to see if there are any that I haven't read here. The Last Battle, of course. I think that's a bit of a cheap. Yes, there is a unicorn in there, but I think they're doing that because they, they, there was a unicorn on the cover. Um, Through the Looking Glass uh, and Unicorns at the Movies, video games. I'm, gonna, I'm totally checking this section out, by the way. So this is super fun. And this is the kind of thing that is in here. Love this. This just seems, this is, I'm gonna have so much fun just flipping through this and seeing if there's anything like I disagree with, but I just feel like this is just a fun, just a really fun thing. Um, how to track them, creating a, a hide, choosing a time of day. This is awesome. Stakeout checklist, snacks, water, warm clothing, flashlight. Fantastic. I freaking love this. So anyways, this is a lot of fun. And I think if you had kids um, that are in the age to, that this book isn't going to be overwhelming, like it's obviously going to be more chapter book style, but it's got a nonfiction vibe to it. Um, if you've got kidlets that are into unicorns, obviously I think this would be really great to check out because it just seems like it's legit. It's got some legit pieces of unicorn lore. Um, I just think this is such a fun find. Now I got all of these books that I'm actually showing you. I should mention this on Book Outlet which is a discount bookstore. Um, I used to have an affiliate code for them, but they canceled their affiliate program. Uh, but I will link their site down below. They've got a US and a Canadian site for sure. I don't know if they're also in the UK, but um, it's a great place to just hunt for discount books. So I literally just went up there, searched unicorn and paged through until I found a little haul of things. So got this one. I also picked up this. Now I have been curious about these. They had the entire box set on Book Outlet, so I just got them. It's just two books. Um, I've seen these around a bunch and I've really wanted to read them. So we have A Brief History of Unicorns, The Magical Unicorn Society. Um, and this is, again, fairly young in its vibe, but like, it just looks, it just looks, it just looks fun. I just, look at this. This has got the more horse-like appearance, which is honestly more common, but I have no idea about any of this. I've just seen it, this book everywhere. Like it, it's always being advertised to me for obvious reasons and I've always been curious about it. And then there's this this one, which is supposed to be the official handbook. Um, these end papers though. These are hard bound. So I don't know if anybody knows the deal with these. Is this supposed to be like a bunch of like short stories? It kind of feels like that. It just it kind of feels like these kind of feel like like maybe like mini, um, yeah, see a spotter's guide to tracking unicorns. These kind of feel almost like mini encyclopedias all about unicorns. There's probably going to be a bunch of repeated information, but this just, whoa, wow, my, 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 uh, my lighting is like, yes, make it dark. Anyways, uh, I'm just really excited to check this out. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with my lighting, y'all. My camera's just like, hey, I'll, I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Anyway, so that is these two, A Brief History of Unicorns and the Magical Unicorn Society. And I just got them in this little sleeve set. It says established 1577. I mean, the art style, it's like a tuck box, but it's books. Like somebody's trying to make me crazy, truly. Like... This sleeve's gotta go, y'all. I'm not gonna have the patience for that. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, that's gotta go, but I have books. Okay, so these are gonna go in my little pile. And in a the very similar vein, I have the very short, entirely true history of unicorns. Again, we see some mythologically, in my mind, correct versions of the unicorn on the cover. Always a, an easy sell for me. So this is, I think, just like a collection of unicorn trivia, to be honest. It says the first unicorn-themed wedding took, took place in 1468. Uh, in the 1500s, a unicorn horn was worth 20 times its weight in gold. In the 21st century, unicorn lattes, unicorn toast, and unicorn bagels can be found almost anywhere. So I did cheat, and I looked at that. Oh, unicorn poop. Amazing. Uh, here it is. This looks exactly like the unicorn um, frappuccino that came out at Starbucks. So, And it literally references it. The next year, Starbucks created a unicorn frappuccino. Um, we have unicorn Fruit Loops. So this is fun. This is super fun. This is definitely much more, this talks about the unicorn cure. So we're gonna see a lot of repeating information across all three of these. I don't care. I'm gonna read them all anyways. Lancelot, the living unicorn. Oh, I know about him. Um, humans can be unicorns too. Amazing. So yeah, these are definitely, <laughs> these are definitely geared towards children. And just so that I don't break the theme, I also picked up um, this one. Now this has actually been on my list for a little while. This reminds me a lot of the story that I created for Mystic in my tarot deck, the um, Unicorn's Journey Tarot. I literally cannot get my words out tonight. I'm just, I'm excited to have this book. Anyways, this is a children's picture book. It's called Not Quite Narwhal. It's by Jesse Seema, but it's basically the story of a unicorn who thinks he's a narwhal and it's really freaking cute. So, um, <laughs> it's just really adorable. So this is a, a little unicorn named Kelp 
And he is raised by narwhals. And just to not give the whole thing away, he does eventually uh, wander off and find land unicorns and finds out that he is actually, uh, he calls them land narwhals, which is hilarious. Um, and actually, we're unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. So this is a very similar story to, like, that sort of ugly duckling concept and, like, not knowing who you are. And I just, it's so sweet. So got that. This is now my second children's picture, third children's picture book. I was gifted one, and then it's apparently started something, so I bought another one. So these are my unicorn books that I picked up in my little mini unicorn book haul. And all of these books combined cost me like $45 Canadian or something. So it was really, really cheap. Uh, and there's actually one more book in that price as well that I'm going to show you. But I got all of these for less than 10% of the price it would have cost me to get the fancy unicorn book. So I am sated. I am happy. And <laughs> I saved a lot of money. Now, I also picked this up because it was on Book Outlet. And I feel like everybody and their like cousin has been talking about this. If you have read this book, let me know. It was really cheap. I think I got it for like five bucks or something. Um, and it's called Legends and Lattes. And as I understand it, it's supposed to be kind of a D and D themed, I don't know, fantasy book. I don't know it. I don't know, <laughs> but I keep, I feel like I've seen it everywhere. Like I don't even like watch booktube or Instagram book reviews or any of that kind of stuff. And yet I feel like I've been seeing this everywhere. So, um, if you've read it, weigh in, but I plan to read it at some point. I just, it seems like a fun, easy read. So um, yeah, Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This is not unicorn themed. It was the only thing in my order that was not unicorn themed, but I kind of had to. It was cheap and again, I've seen it everywhere. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. This was just, like I said, a super fun casual haul of all the unicorn things that I bought to soothe myself from not buying the really expensive unicorn thing. And um, a glimpse into how actually obsessed I am with unicorns. This is, this is not a phase, y'all. I have been doing this for decades. So anyways, if you also love unicorns, uh, then you're in the right place. But I mean, if you just put up with this entire video, you clearly either really like unicorns or you, you actually like me. You really, really like me. <laughs> you would not have watched this insufferable self-indulgent video. But thank you for hanging out with me. It was really fun for me. And I will see y'all in the next one. Until then, may your magic always shine from the inside out. Bye, y'all.